Ta'ala help us transform before we meet with him. Take a look at what happened today in Nepal, in Kathmandu. May Allah make it easy for them. May Allah grant those who, who have been martyred in that earthquake, shahada. May Allah grant them a lofty rank in Jannah, those from amongst the ummah who lost their lives. Wallahi, it is so severe, so serious that we need to take a lesson. Innocent lives, just like myself and yourselves, people who were seated just like we are here today, suddenly no more because an earthquake came in and swallowed them up. This happened earlier today. What do we say? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. For some strange reason, we still think that cannot happen to us, don't we? For some strange reason, people die. We still think, you know what? I know I'm going to die, but I don't think I'm going right now. Come on, you know? I'm still planning a sin. I still got 20 sins that I need to commit. Astaghfirullah. Who knows? Don't ever do that. This might be our last day, wallahi, my brothers and sisters. It could be. Every prayer that you fulfill, the Prophet wasallam says, fulfill it as though it's the last prayer that you're ever going to be fulfilling. And you know what's the secret behind that? One day it will be your last one. One day it will be your last one. My brothers and sisters, come on. We need to make an effort. Don't allow shaitan to keep you up for no reason. When the time of sleeping has come in, it's bedtime. You don't just get to bed because you're scared of your wife. No, you get to bed because you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then you see your wife smiling, mashallah. I remember a brother telling me that if he doesn't get to bed early, there is a baton waiting for him. I told him, brother, if you were a good Muslim, you wouldn't even need the baton. You would be in bed before your spouse. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. May he open our doors. These are just some of the examples of how the world has changed, hasn't it? Subhanallah. So we will make an effort. We will get up. We will make sure that we fulfill our salah come what may. If you've missed your prayer, say for example, I asked Allah's forgiveness and I said, Oh Allah, I don't want to miss a prayer from today. And something happened and I missed one immediately. Remember the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, whoever has slept over a, a, a salah by error and whoever has forgotten it, read it as soon as you remember it. So I slept over Salatul Fajr and I got up and the sun had already risen. As soon as I get up, Make my wudu, read my salah, and continue with the rest of my day. Read it as qada. It's definitely something that you've now done. So your record is still sitting at zero missed. From the time I sought forgiveness, zero missed. Because I made up those that I missed. And do not be lazy. 